Make sure to like and subscribe if the boy kisser meme is cringe. A new disease has been spreading on the internet and especially in the Roblox community. This new disease has gained notoriety and has brainwashed the youth and has become the new empire of cringe that we must defeat. This virus has been deemed the boy kisser meme and today we will go over the entire problem saturated around this dumb white cat and the many controversies behind many of the people who have allowed this meme to catapult into how popular it has been today making it easily one of the most hated memes of 2023. You know why you're here? <sighs> like no, 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 wait, 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 Now to get straight into the controversy, the original owner of the boy kisser cat meme called Morsey Mice was born in 2004 and is currently 18 turning 19 years old. Due to the fact that her original character was the boy kisser cat we know today, it was suddenly used in many memes and took off in meme culture, especially on sites such as Discord and Twitter. However, due to the more popularity it accommodated, Increased scrutiny soon followed and was directed towards Morsey Mice in the form of hate and harassment campaigns by angry people online who disliked her artwork and the repetitive, annoying and cringe nature of the boy kisser cat meme. Due to the hate Morsey Mice proceeded to get, she privated her Twitter and it still remains privated to this day, with many people defending her for the unjustified backlash she received and also because she got unjustifiably doxxed because of this. However, much of the info in the dox bin was incorrect. However, in early May, allegations came out regarding Morsey Mice making feral Pokemon file artwork and participating and collaborating with furry cub accounts in which you don't know what furry cub imagery is it's basically artwork of young furries the emergence of these allegations greatly tarnished her image at the time further increasing the online hate campaign towards her and allowing many of her detractors to jump on the bandwagon because now a cringe micro celebrity seemed to be outed as doing something legitimately terrible enough to validate their deep rooted dislike to them. However, eventually new information came out in which greatly shifted the narrative of the story. Because if you remember, Morsey Mice was born in 2004, and this artwork was commissioned in 2018, meaning Morsey Mice was a minor when she was making the feral artwork, being at the age of 14. And it was revealed that she had promoted her commissioning services in not safe for work environments and had lied about her age to commissioners, claiming she was 18. So therefore, people were unaware that Morsey Mice was a minor at the time. Now that it was revealed that Morsey Mice had been a minor, another question arose as to how Morsey was saturated in a furry degenerate echo chamber at such a young age and that possible grooming took place, in which further saturated her mindset into very adult environments as such. Well, all would be revealed when Morsey Mice on her private Twitter account on May the 27th made a long, lengthy thread going over the situation and clearing up some of the misconceptions in which she states were spread by bad actors. Here is what she said. Hello everyone, I will clear up many things that are being said about me. First of all, I won't apologize. Many, if not all, the posts talking about the situation are mainly bait accounts, with the main purpose of the post being to harm me rather than informing about the situation properly, without doing any kind of proper research or giving context to important things. I'm only doing this to clear up things. I do apologize to anyone involved in this by my past actions. I'm deeply sorry and have now changed and understood what I was doing was wrong. I know it's since some years ago. That's why all the art is old. Many say that I was groomed and that is correct, though I wasn't groomed by any of the persons who commissioned the art that is now public, but by someone else. I won't give more information as it is something that I've moved on from. I did not consume or enjoy either the feral or cub art and I never did. I just drew what I was being asked to. Again, I know what I did was wrong. I mainly did it because I thought it was okay. Someone older than me made me think it was and that I was mature enough to do it. I now understand that I was not and I have changed. Quote unquote, you said it wasn't a big deal. While I wasn't going to explain something as personal like my grooming past to a stranger. Quote unquote, your BF draws NSFW. And as I said, I don't consume or enjoy feral or carb. Not even any not safe for work in general. This doesn't change anything. Disproving the quote unquote proofs that I never changed. First one being out of context, I didn't even comment something NSFW. You can see the original post yourself. The second one is a Facebook page that reposts furry art. 
I had nothing to do with this page. And Morsi Mice ends off the thread by stating, Thank you to everyone who supported me when horrible and untrue things were said about me. As you can see, she states that she was a victim of grooming and that the commissioners had not been the ones participating in the behaviour, but the grooming had led her into doing the not safe for work commissioning and that the entire situation had been a large mistake on her part and that she has not reverted back to her prior actions and she then proceeded to remove all of the artwork and messages from E621. She consistently claims that she's against not safe for work artwork as she is primarily a safe work creator and that she is unbothered about her partner which is involved in such content. However, that will be a problem, a major problem that I will address later. Morsi claims that she never enjoyed Feral or Cub Art and proceeded to say that she had no involvement with the aforementioned Furry Cub Twitter account. And after this response came out, many people proceeded to flock to her defense, stating how she clearly changed and that the artwork she created, albeit she should have never made when she was a minor, was greatly over exaggerated to begin with, and was only used as a hit piece to try and escalate the hatred towards Morsi years later. So now that that background of the entire situation has been established, let's go into the actual alarming side of this story. So I'm sure that you're all aware that Morsi has a partner who openly operates a safe for work and not safe for work Twitter account, and this is no secret. However, what I see only a few select people mentioning is how alarming the posts on the account actually are. I originally saw the allegations that Morsi's boyfriend had followed Cub Not Safe For Work accounts on Twitter, which is the equivalent to furry CP and lolly art imagery, as well as posting such materials himself. Of course, as mentioned prior, they did get in a little hot water for this, but it was quickly forgotten, with Morsi's boyfriend proceeding to claim all the art was 18+, plus, removing all the images, and claiming there was no imagery of juvenile furries. Well, one check, and I have to break it to you, but this account is horrific. His likes and retweets are saturated with content from furry cub accounts, like imagery of literally children furries participating in very alarming things which I can't even say on YouTube, with even archived posts of Morsi's boyfriend's tweets, showing him posting a not safe work image of Ralsei, and one check of Google shows that, oh look, Ralsei is in between the ages of 13 and 14, and literally people under the tweet were saying that Ralsei was a kid. Now, it's no secret that Morsi probably knows her boyfriend's doing this, and has an addiction to this pretty alarming material, yet they're still together and she's literally brushed it off in the past. I don't believe for a second that Morsi doesn't know that her literal boyfriend is retweeting and liking this content, and I'd be interested in hearing a response from them regarding this subject, because I certainly know that the content that Morsi's boyfriend's not safe for work Twitter account is signal boosting is indefensible. Anyway, as you stray away from the original creator of the meme and the controversy is saturated around them and their boyfriend, let's go down the overall pipeline and see what the meme truly has to offer. Surely it can't be that bad, right? Well, who would have guessed that memes cultivate specific fan bases? With Skibidi Toilet, it was the five year olds who throw death threats at people for an opinion, and with the boy kisser meme, it is with the not safe for work addicted furries. So one search and you will be exposed to a plethora of horrific content regarding this meme. And while Morsi herself is not in support of the content, it just goes to show how as soon as something gets popular, people always jump the bandwagon to ruin it and make it overtly sexual. And with this meme, it seems to be disproportionately in this case. I mean, there is a lot more of this content than with the Skibidi Toilet Saga. It has truly become a very large problem to say the least. Now another situation I want to bring up is how the Boy Kisser meme is reaching Roblox and attempting to break into the UGC program. This has been aided by a user named Isabel, who doesn't have the best track record in the Roblox community, especially when it comes to users such as Mugen and Ruben Sim. A co-op post emerged recently of Isabel attempting to incorporate some eyebrow lifting accessories into the UGC program, with one item being none other than the boy kisser accessory. However, more emerged about this user later on. So I already knew about most of the actions this user has done, such as doxing multiple people, making fun of victims' horrific events in their life, 
as well as Mugen attesting that this user had possession of Cheese Pizza, distributed Cheese Pizza, and uploaded a CP scat video of themselves when they were younger, which is disgusting to even say. Obviously, that just goes to show the community that the Boy Kisser meme has attracted and cultivated. And that's not to generalize the entire community, but for one second, you can't even attempt to play down the fact there are a lot of these people saturated in echo chambers like this. This proportionately more so than the Skibidi Toilet fandom, and I've seen no one else really talk about this problem. Maybe because they're scared of the backlash they've received, but I faced the dragon being the Skibidi Toilet fanbase, so I'm prepared to fight the good fight once again. I like to sing Now that we got through the serious segment of the video, I just want to go over in more detail how cringe this meme has actually transpired to be. Many Twitter posts currently are ranking the boy kisser meme on the same ranks of cringe as the skibidi toilet trend, with many others also taking jabs at the meme. I mean, I personally do not understand what's comedic whatsoever about this meme, and I've literally seen grown adult furries post some of these boy kiss memes, and it is some of the most unbearable content I have ever forced myself to see. Keep in mind, I had to research this meme for multiple hours, so it's probably deducted at least a couple years off my life. So that brings me to the next part of the video where me and a group of friends react to some of the most peak and best boy kisser videos of all time. Make sure to watch to the end. Hey guys, what's up? Today we will be reacting to some of the best boy kisser memes. Stop! Today we'll be reacting to some of the best boy kisser memes. No, 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 no. Stop! Here's the video! Right. Stop! Right, here we go. Alright. Yeah, that's right. Hi, this is so this funny! Is so I like this boy, don't you? Oh my god. This is me. No! Homosexual! <laughs> boy kiss! Oh my god! That's right. Oh my god. Stop! What are you gonna do about it? <laughs> kiss me? Or oh. you silly little- Oh my god, this is crazy! Heterosexual! <gasps> Oh my god, no. crazy. This is, oh this is insane. Oh. Oh. Wow. Wow, guys, this, this content is totally not absolutely garbage. Yeah. You could, you could strap me. Like, if you want to extract information from, like, no terrorists and stuff, just strap them to a bed, hinge their eyes open, hinge their eyes open with, like, toothpicks and force them to watch boy kisser memes. Uh, very basic what about kissing yeah, like a basic oh! Idea. Stop with the crocodile! Like boys, don't you? You're a boy kisser. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is America! America! Oh! You like <laughs> Iraqis, don't you? America. Oh my god. Anyone, anyone with this Roblox avatar? Uh, instant fed list, instantly on the on the on the list on the registry, instantly. Stay away from them. You like boy? You're a boy kisser. You dislike boy. So so someone outsourced like a child from Cambodia to voice these lines at gunpoint. You like this? You dislike kissing, don't you? Kissing, don't you? So you like fucking? No! I heard you like kissing men. What is this? What is this? <laughs> 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 We've actually got to react. Guys, guys, prepare to sit down and have your popcorn. <laughs> what is this? What is this? What is this? What is this? I love the <laughs> F and F people when the beat goes. Oh, 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 no! I heard you like causing war crimes in Iraq. Oh my god. Wait a minute! Oh my god! No. 
Yes! Holy W. So thanks for coming in and voting. In. Oh my god, oh my god. Guys, thank you for voting for this really cool meme on my YouTube channel. Guys, I'm really happy that you voted for this epic meme. As you see, as you see, you guys clearly voted for it. Kisser window, so. Thank you guys for voting for the boy kisser meme. Prepare your. You're right. I am a boy kisser. You just like kissing, don't you? So you oh, yeah, like fucking go- STOP! Like Why is there a swear word? What is this? <laughs> what the hell? What was that? What was that? What was that? What was that? We might have to rewind that. Let's rewind that. What is that? 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 This is this is a new turn. This is this is the society Joe Biden wants. <laughs> oh god. Oh boy hooters. Oh. oh You freed the world of Joe Biden. Oh kisses! <laughs> What do you content. mean? It's the best content ever. Keep in mind, many people have been actively preying on this meme's downfall, and for some reason, just like with the Mr. Incredible Uncanny meme and Mr. Dweller, this trend and meme has stood the test of time and continues to be used, maybe even arguably not even reaching its peak yet, which is a terrifying thing to consider. Hopefully this video really covers the main problems of this trend, and hopefully many people can rally behind this video and share it with as many people as they can so they can be notified of it. So make sure to like and subscribe and hopefully this video will not start a two-pronged offensive with not only me dealing with the Skibidi Toilet Nation currently, but now potentially angering the Boy Kisser Empire. Anyway, thank you all for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye. Obviously this video isn't intended for harassment, hate speech, or cyberbullying. This video is just to inform everyone about the current situation and give an educational and informative insight into the drama as a whole. I like to sing boys, cause I'm a